Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Satbo Reads Books. Who's Satbo? That's me and I talk books. Um, so today, today's video is um, basically going to be done in two parts. Videos on black British books. Um, first thought I had, I was literally going to do all of the books that I have that are black British. Um, so either they've got black British authors or they've got black British um, characters um so i wanted to do like all of the books that i owned but then i realized like the video will be like an hour and a half like a movie so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna separate it into two parts so black british non-fiction and black british fiction so the first one that's going to come out is this one which is the black british non-fiction books and then um probably the week after I will um, release the video on black British fiction books so that one is I'm really excited to do um, or to release by the time I've edited this video um, so I'm looking forward to that but let's get into the video black British non-fiction books coming at ya let's go so the shelf behind me I don't know what my hair's doing but whatever um, the shelf behind me is kind of looking a bit empty um, because I've taken out a lot of books. It may not look like a lot, but I've actually got a lot for um, my fiction books. Okay, so the first book, this book has pretty much come up in like all of my videos. Um, so it's kind of a mixture of um, fiction and non-fiction. New Daughters of Africa, which is edited by um, Margaret Busby, and it features all sorts of um, authors and writers um, that are black women so it doesn't necessarily um, it does involve a lot of black British women um, but again there are also women that are not British as well um, so this is kind of a mixture of fiction and non-fiction because there's stories in there but there's also essays in there so this is a nice one to get into and then we've got I am not your baby mother by Candice Braithwaite. Braithwaite, yes, Candice Braithwaite. So I've actually got this book in the hardback, and I've got the audiobook as well because I find it easier to read non-fiction books if I've got the audiobook to kind of read along with me um, because I realise that I just my mind starts to drift off. So getting the author to kind of read out their own book to me whilst I'm reading along makes it a much more fun experience so I'm excited to read this one um, I also have to point out that these books some of them I have read or some of them I haven't read so um, I will let you know if I've read it or not um, but I think a lot of these non-fiction ones I probably haven't read yet um, because as you know I'm not into like my non-fiction um, but Candy Sprathwaite, I'm not your baby mother, what's it what it's like to be a black British mother? Um, so I'm black British. Um, one day I hope to be a mother and have my own kids. So I thought this would be a great insight into like what does motherhood entail, even though I can watch my own mum, but it's nice to hear perspective from other black British mums as well. Um, so this book is a rare gem because like this is the first time to my knowledge anyway, um, a woman's been able to, a black woman, a black British woman's been able to come out and publish a book on motherhood. Hearing the stats that black British mums are five times more likely to die from childbirth is crazy. Like we have um, great medical care. I mean, we've got the NHS, which is free healthcare, but um, again, medical racism exists. So being able to look at um, motherhood from that perspective and then just everyday life and um, I follow Candice on Instagram and I absolutely love like her Instagram page she's like one of my favorite influencers and one day I want to be like her so um, definitely recommend this even if you're not black British you can definitely grab this book because motherhood is a worldwide thing um, even if you don't want to be a mother like it's always interesting to find out about the journey um, why I'm no longer talking to white people about race by Rennie Ed Edo Lodge. Um, 
this is also in my J January TBR video. Um, it's a book that I'm hoping to tackle in um, January 2021. It is in my TBR list, as I've said. And this copy is signed, which I also, also mentioned in the TBR as well. I kind of forgot. I've had this book for a while, but I never got around to reading it. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading this in January. And again, from the title, it's kind of obvious, but this book talks about race. Um, and it's a very important book considering the year that we've had in 2020 in terms of race relations I think there is no excuse to be ignorant now in 2021 there is no excuse to be ignorant and that goes for me as well um, I feel like I've been choosing for so long to be um, you know the saying ignorance is bliss I've been trying to do that but it's time to not be ignorant anymore so I'm looking forward to that another non-fiction read um, rise up the hashtag murky story of Stormzy so far um, Stormzy is a huge rapper in the UK um, and this is pretty much his story about how he um, blew up essentially um, which is really cool I saw this I saw one of my students reading this last year and i asked him about it and he was like it's really good so i was just like do you know what? i think i should get it plus it's stormzy like i don't think there's many like british rappers that's come out with like an autobiography to my knowledge if there is let me know in the comments um but this one i'm really excited to read and it's got like pictures of stormzy and it talks about like um he's up coming is uprising um which is really cool i'm really excited to read this one also he has a imprint um hashtag murky books and stormzy's very like behind the um the agenda let's say of getting kids to read which i absolutely love so the fact that this was published under his own imprint it's fantastic so yeah Stormzy is one of those rappers that encourages students to read um, this one is called self-made the definitive guide to business and startup success not and the definitive guide to business startup success um, by Bianca Miller Cole and Byron Cole so these are these two are a married couple and they were in The Apprentice um, the UK version with um, Lord Sugar <laughs> And um, basically I got this because I've started my own business which is a subscription box um, called the Black Book Box and I just wanted to get some more information so if you are business minded this is probably another great read um, especially from a um, this doesn't I don't think it really talks about it from a black perspective it's more about business um, but it's always great to support like black business owners um, which is fantastic so i have to get into this one i've been procrastinating with this one for some reason i don't know why um now we've got the king kong here like natives race and class in the ruins of empire by akala i actually read this one you can see like it's kind of like falling apart and i've got the audiobook as well so um to be honest it took me a while to get through this book but the audiobook I got the audiobook like halfway through reading this one and it it made it go so much quicker like I love hearing Akala reading like it just made the book so much more fascinating like audiobooks are brilliant I'm not even gonna lie like I used to be one of those people like audiobooks is not reading it's not reading but like it's absolutely fantastic so um I really enjoy this book this is a book that I think I'm always gonna come back to every year um just to remind ourselves like myself anyway how race and what well, especially in the uk it's not just about racism there's classism as well that affects like your life so um it's crazy and it was so fascinating and i learned so much more about classism as well as well as race um so this is a great book like it was on everyone's recommend list this year even though this came out like I think it came out like 2018, 2017, 
yeah it came out in oh it came out in 2019 2018 2018 2019 um last but not least these two um so we've got slain your lane the black girl's bible um this is by yomi adigoki and elizabeth uvbni i hope i feel like i've mashed up her name but i'm so sorry and then again um i've got slain your lane the journal so um this is the book and this is the journal um again this is signed <laughs> before pandemic times i used to love going to book signings and um <laughs> they wrote me a message but yeah i used to love going to like a lot of book signing events and um i've been to like two of the slain your lane events so um this one i went to with a friend and we went and like obviously i got my book signed and then um the journal they were doing like a vision board event and I think that's where I got this from. Or did I buy it before? But I did go to like a vision board event, which was brilliant. And I think since then I've never, I think I'm gonna continue with the whole vision boarding stuff, which I'm doing um, currently for 2021 as well. So I'm gonna be using this a lot more. This came out, um, I think this came out in 2020. This came out a couple of years ago. Um, I didn't use it that much, but I think I definitely will a lot more. Um, with this book, it's fantastic because it goes through different areas in a woman's life. So if I look at the contents page, so what Yomi and Elizabeth did, they um, went round and they interviewed quite a few like prominent black British women and it gave them like the content for the book. So they've got race, education, work, getting ahead, representation, dating, health, and much more in there um so i only read like halfway through this book but i think it's something that i'm gonna pick up again probably start again um to get into but it was fantastic the bit that i read was really really good i don't know why i just never picked it back up i think i got distracted by all the other books um but this is a really really great book to pick up and then i've got a few more which I've got on ebook as well. I have a few more um, non-fiction books that I've got on Kindle. Um, sorry, so if I keep looking down, it's because I've, I'm looking at my phone, um, just to remind me of which books that I've got. Um, again, their image will come up on the screen next to me, so if you're interested in picking them up, that'll be great. So we've got Blacklisted by Jeffrey Boachi, um, and this book talks about black British culture um in the uk which is absolutely brilliant because um black british culture is completely different to like african-american even though we are inspired by them um there's definitely unique experiences that we have as black brits compared to like the diaspora and like even like african europeans as well um so it's brilliant that someone's collated all of that information did research into one book um next one is don't touch my hair don't touch my hair um by emmy em, emmy emma dabiri um so it talks about black hair again how it's been appropriated stigmatized throughout history um girl you know <laughs> black hair is controversial for some reason but it's just hair it's just hair so that's one book I definitely need to get into because I'm, I feel like I've gone through a love-hate journey with my own hair. Um, it's a shame that we've had to look at white hair, I mean black hair through the white gaze, but um, definitely I think a lot of black women are starting to love and appreciate their hair. I just love how black hair is versatile, like, come on, like, period. Um, next one black and british a forgotten history by david olasoga bro what can i say the book is thick i think it's like it's like 700 pages 800 pages and it talks about um the history between the british isle and the people of africa and um black people in the uk and black brits it goes it goes way back i think it goes from um it says roman britain 
I can't even give you like a dec like a century. I don't even know. But it goes way back and I think it come it comes to like close to our period now. So it is a great book to pick up. He also has like a shorter version um for younger kids but i'm sure adults can pick it up as well if you don't really have time to read the, like the 700 page um version of it um so that's also a shorter version i've been thinking about picking it up actually but it's too late i'm going on my book buying ban <laughs> for like the first quarter of the year so we'll see how that goes and then the last one that i've got is in black and white by alexandra wilson so Alexandra is a 25 year old mixed race barrister or she's training to be a barrister one of them um, and she's from Essex and we kind of navigate like the justice system through her eyes and how it affects black people and I think there's a um, there's examples of like cases in there as well um, because I think the UK has a struggle with knife crime um, so we go through a case that is a it's like her experience of how crime can affect um, people's lives so that's an interesting read as well so like it's picking up from um, the legal side which I literally have no idea about which is very ignorant of me so it's nice to like dive into that aspect of career I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I'm literally filming this on New Year's Eve. <laughs> so I feel like I'm just waiting <laughs> for 2020 to come, to go. So like my head's not even in the game. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for like all of my black British non-fiction books. If you do find any of these books interesting, I highly recommend you go and pick them up. Um, leave in the comments like which one are you looking at which one do you think is the most interesting sounding let's let's have a chat about it in my comment se comment section i'll also list all the books that i've mentioned below in the description box and thank you so much for watching this video um hopefully it's not too long um but i hope you guys have a lovely evening don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video See you later. Bye.